Hello everyone, this is Daryl20, and welcome to episode 34 of Daryl20's All the Mod 7 Skyblock series, where today I'm setting up my well of suffering. Bum, 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 Look at it go. That should be cool. All right. Uh, so I think and hope that this ritual will reach where I want it to reach. I think it will, though. I think it will, though. So first off, I'm pretty sure we have to activate it. Good. And then let's define area. And damage. All mobs in this area will take damage every second or so until they die. This does not include players, unfortunately. So what I was going to do is just make it here to here for the damage. Cool. I like that. Okay. And then the area that the ritual searches for a blood altar to deposit its blood into. I mean... Technically, I could just leave that as is, and that should be fine. No no real reason to shrink it? I mean, I could. Maybe, I don't know. Does it, like, is it better to shrink it? I have no idea. Probably shouldn't hurt, but, yeah, we'll just do that, and that should be cool. All right, so, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, if I pop this in here, this should be fully automated. So, see the blazes taking damage there? Now that's gonna drain pretty quickly, but that's also because I reduced the amount of the Apotheosis spawner, uh, the max number of mobs that can be there. Remember I did that? I made it like eight. But if I wanted to, plus two max entities up to 32. If I got some gas tiers and bumped this thing up, if I could get to it. There we go. If I bump max entities, hey, up to 32. Thank you. Wow, that's a lot of will. Now there should be 32 blazes sitting there. And what we should be getting is a healthy amount of LP per tick. That's not bad. And it'll kill them, and then new ones will spawn right away. And then here's my favorite part, is once the altar is full again... By the way, I'm at 150,000 on my player. Once the altar is full again... It'll automatically turn off the spawner. And then the ritual will keep killing them. I'm not going to turn off the ritual, I'm just going to turn off the spawner. Through the mechanic that already existed. So, no more blazes are spawning. How cool is that? I like it. That seems pretty cool, right? Doesn't that seem pretty cool? And then eventually they'll just they'll just die off, right? So, shortly after that's cool. Shortly after the, the altar fills up, the blazes stop spawning. And then if it gets low enough, they'll start spawning again. They'll spawn up to 32 of them sitting there, which will be a decent amount of LP coming in every time. That's pretty good, right? Now, just out of curiosity for the Well of Suffering, um, there's no there's no boosts I can do for Well of Suffering? That's a bummer. I would have liked to have seen something happen for uh, for the Will. But it is what it is. So hey, that's fully automated now. We don't need to see this area anymore. How's this coming along, by the way? Uh, slowly but surely. So now that we've automated this bit, and we should probably do something about... Do you drop items when you die? Or no? You may not. I guess not, right? I'm okay with that. I don't want items. I didn't want to have to set up a avoiding items thing. That's really nice, actually. I'm I'm totally okay with that. I'm 100% down with that. Yes. Yes, let's do that. Let's do no no need for any any messiness. Okay. I like this. I don't really need you no more. Or at least I shouldn't. Okay. I probably shouldn't need a crystallizer anymore either. So let's talk about speeding this stuff up. So if I got will potions, okay, um, 
So these guys are made in a Hellfire Forge, generally with Tau Oil, Nether Wart, and Sulfur Dust. How are we for Sulfur? I'm assuming we have a lot. That's one of those things that we have like a stupid amount. Ah, uh, we've got Sulfur Sulfur. And then I can pressure you into Sulfur Dust, I assume, of some kind. Pulverizer recipe? Okay. Sulfur dust from thermal, sulfur dust from mechanism. Fisting. I'll just have to pulverize a recipe it. That seems fine. Um, can we automate this? I didn't automate this in my Let's Play, and I'm curious if I can. I assume I can? Uh, let's find out. So, if I want Thermal Dust... Yeah? That's the Pulverizer, that's the Pulverizer recipe. That should be cool. I don't know what all these little things are. Maybe that's a list of all the craftings currently? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't have nine crafters at the moment. My goodness, you're a slow pulverizer. I don't think we've yet automated the augments. Hopefully most of this stuff is automated at this point, but I'm thinking a lot of it isn't. I don't think Lumium is. I don't think I don't think I've done any of those. Yeah, we don't have Signalum or Lumium gears ready to go. That's interesting. I like I like that at the top left where it's telling me when crafting is complete. That's kind of cool. So Electrum and Lumium ingots we don't have. Did we get the point where like there's a better Lumium crafting process yet? Yes, the induction smelter recipe for Lumium is in. Hooray! Remember they were like missing for a bit? I feel like they were missing for a bit. Let's make sure it's both the ingots. Come on. There you go. Ten ingot times three. Okay. Not as easy as I thought it would be. Oh, it's a different signal in it now. Look at that. Okay. So three copper. That's better. And then electrum. Just need a gold. And those can all be induction. I never made an induction, dude. That's right, because the recipes weren't working, really. Wow, I don't have any thermal stuff automated, do I? I really don't. Holy cow. As he proceeds to not automate any of them. Now that's interesting. That's kind of cool. When I force crafted that, it put it up here for me. Maybe they're pinned because they're recent. That's neat. I think I see the point of that, and I actually really like that idea. I really like that idea. It pins them up there because it's what I've recently requested. Right? Right? Now if I close the terminal and reopen it, it's gone. Okay, interesting. Do we have the channels to pop a thing here real quick? Uh, yeah, no, totally, totally do. So you go there with all those things. I didn't mean to do that with my insightful crystal. Oh, and hey, look, there's a search name at the top now. I didn't even notice that. Hey, sweet. 
AE2, you are doing a good job recently. Holy cow, I like I like all these updates that happened. I like everything about it. Okay. And then uh, I think like the pulverizer, I want you configured for down is both, but auto output. And that should be cool. Okay, so now can I request two of these by chance? We just need invar ingots which we're going to want to teach you how to make invar ingots. Two iron. Cool. And we need a platinum. Now, why did you not recognize? That invar. Is it because you had like the wrong invar type or whatever? That might be better. Oh, wrong place. Sweet. That should be cool. Are you not being smart about the insertion? Let's do this. Blocking mode. Do not push crafting ingredients at the inventory and contains a pattern input. Yes, that. That should be cool now. I thought the induction smelter like blocked that kind of thing though. Looks like he's handling it better though. Yeah, no, I think we're good now. Yep. No, it's definitely behaving at this point. Sweet. Oh yeah, look at that. And it pinned him. That's what the little pin icon means. I like that a lot. I think that's super cool. So you, you can come out, you can go in, and then real quick, what's that thermal augment for speeding things up a little bit better? Base power process energy. Is this it? That can't be right. I don't think it is. Is this the one I want? Flux linkage amplifier? It's the one that speeds it up. That doesn't sound right to me. Maybe it's right? Meh, I'll hold off on that for now. I think we're cool. Anyway, uh, so I got my sulfur a million years ago when I started this process that I did not expect to go on a tangent. But you know, Dyer, he gets distracted sometimes. Uh, so, so, so talk to me about... Hellfire Forges, right? Because what we're going to want to do, and I should do a little bit of automation to handle my blood altar thing, because you know when you've got what items you want, and that emits on a white signal, right? So what I could do is yank out the orb when that signal is active, right? That could be cool. Let me borrow you for a sec. This thing should fill up now. So let's simulate this, right? We pulled the orb out. Let's pretend that was automated. The altar will fill up. The ritual will keep running. Once we get enough LP in here, which I think I said to be around 20-ish, yeah, it'll craft the item that it needs. Cool. I'm going to make your speed and ticks be five because I want this to run more frequently. So like that runs every tick. I want, I want this to run every five ticks, right? So it's still fast, but 
I want the this thing to run faster. And then when it's done, it puts the or back in. So what if we got real quick a chest here? And then are you connected to the other dudes? I forget. I think you are, right? Pretty sure you are. Yeah, you are. Uh, is there any other item transfer happening on this, or is it all redstone-y stuff? It's all pretty much redstone-y stuff. So how about over here, we would use the orange channel? Does that sound cool? Yeah. So how about extract on orange, but with the white channel... When it's emitting a redstone signal, the chest is satisfied, right? So I would want you to be on white low. And I want you to extract when white is high, right? Does that sound cool? Uh, and then... I want you to extract on the orange channel and you to extract on the magenta. And you can insert on the orange channel and you can insert on the magenta. Cool? But right now, because this thing's satisfied, let's just do that. And you should be cool. Where did you go? Where indeed? Uh, Master Blood Orb, where'd you go? That's an exceptional question. Where did it go? Uh, Bueller? Oh, to my inventory? How'd that happen? On low, you should be extracting when white is low. You should be extracting when white is high. Oh, I see. I'm, I'm using a, a, a thing. Hold on. Then let's go with... Let's make this... How about channel 15? Is that cool? Yeah, that's cool now. That's cool. Okay, sweet. So now he's charging, he's doing his thing. Now if I take this out, what should happen is he'll pull the orb out, he'll start crafting for me. Oh right, I should make you only pull out the orb, right? So we should filter you. To be just the orb and ignore MBT. Cool. And then we should do the same for you. Now where'd my word go? There's got to be some kind of desync happening here. Where indeed? Uh, let me find it. All right, I think this works. Uh, didn't really have to change much. So uh, right now, I guess my blood orb is full. That's cool. So watch what happens if I snag a reinforced slate from here. Boom. The orb went into this chest. It starts crafting the reinforced slate. The mob starts spawning. How cool is that? And then the orb comes back when the slate's done. Eh? Not too shabby. 
And then when all the blazes die, they stay dead because the altar is now full. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. How's this thing coming along, by the way? I mean, we're getting there. Not great. Not terrible. Uh, it's very slow, which is why I want to automate the creation of catalysts, right? Uh, so we need Tau Oil and Nether Wart. Now, Tau Oil is going to be an alchemy table recipe. So we're going to have to see if we can automate the alchemy table. And we're going to have to see if we can automate the Hellfire Forge. So let's get a new alchemy table down here. Uh, and we've got our extra Hellfire Forge. So the question is, can we automate these two bad boys? That's a very good question. We're going to find out the answer to it now. Let's get an orb. I'm going to take my Magician's Blood Orb and put it in there because that should be sufficient. Okay. Now let's use, just because we're comfortable with it, Laser I.O. Uh, to do all this. So we're going to want a chest or two. Okay. And what we're going to want to do is... Let's start with it here. Do you think that's going to work? So can I... Let's get more cards. I could always use more cards. Look at this. And now they stay in the same spot. I really like this pen idea. This was such a cool thing. It's so cool. I love it. Uh, so how about you insert... But I'm probably going to want a counting filter. Right. And we're going to want tau fruit times three and bone meal. Yes. And you can be extract eight at a time. So if we got tau fruit and bone meal, and then what if I set you to extract tau oil on, let's say, orange and insert on orange? And that should be cool. Hmm. I forget what these buttons do, but I remember them being meaningful in some way. Uh... Let's try let's try not extracting eight items at a time. Yeah, you want to do that, huh? All right, let me let me remember how these buttons work in the alchemy table. So what we do is we click on a slot and we tell it which sides you're allowed to insert or extract from. So what if we did this? Because I don't want you, I don't know if this is the right way to do it, but let's try it, right? So let's say that this slot can be inserted from the north, south, west so north south west and then east and then this down works for me okay so what we're gonna do and then these two slots can't be inserted into at all right so instead of this i'm gonna do that okay so you can insert into the north, south, west, and then east will be bone meal. So it'll be north, you get one tau fruit. 
and then south, you get one tau fruit. And then west, you get one tau fruit. And then east, you get one bone meal. And then you extract from up, is that what I said? Or down, down. Try that now, right? So if I put five and three in there, boom, 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 crafting, cool. And if I threw some overclockers in there, it would just go that much faster. Cool, right? I like that. Okay. Boom, making another. Okay, so there you go. Automated towel oil. Nice. All right, now, as it relates to... Now, as it relates to... Uh, the crucible. Where's that? Where's the thing? Where's that? Didn't I make one? There it is. Let's put him. What I might do is insert on orange over here. Yeah, let's, 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 let's do that. Am I out of laser IO dudes again? Nope, I got a few. I just missed them. Okay, so you'll insert and do orange when you have your tau fruit ready to go, your tau oil, right? Can I do this? Does this let me do this? I didn't think so. All right, and then you also get potatoes, sulfur, and nether wort. Sulfur dust and potatoes. Doot, doot, and doot. Okay. So now you, let's say, extract on magenta. Right? And let's not have you actually extract just yet. I'm curious how this is going to work. So if I told you to insert on magenta, and what you would want is one of each of these in a counting card, so that only one's in a lot at a time, and maybe extract on blue, and you can insert on blue, see what happens. So if I told you to extract on magenta, oh, look at that, yeah, that's cool. Sweet. Now, if I'm not mistaken, having a Tardic gem in a Hellfire Forge, in a chunk with Will in it, will drain Will out of the chunk. I think. I think. So we currently have 51 Will in there. If I put this in here, see how it's filling up? It's draining from the chunk. See on the top left? Drained it all. But it made my catalyst for me, which is cool. That's neato. Now if I set you to extract, would you take... No. So I need to filter that. Good. Now it's only taking the... Uh, okay, cool. Perfect. Got it? How cool is that? I like that. That's neato. All right. Then we're going to want Gathering of Forsaken Souls. And that's going to need 44 runes. Okay. So runes are um, ritual dudes. 
I need 44 of them. So let's go test our automation real quick. You ready? How's this doing, by the way? Not bad. But now if I snag these, boom, it took my orb out. It's going to let it recharge, and it's going to make more for me. Cool, right? So I need a few more. We'll be back. Actually, I think it's probably wrapping up point for the episode. Yeah, I think so. Isn't it? It might be. Um, let me check. Yeah, it is. So let's wrap up here. We'll come back next time, and we'll... Get the ritual going that will feed this raw catalyst. Because remember, we want to basically apply this catalyst to the crystal. And it'll, A, make the crystal require less will to grow. And B, grow a lot faster. Both of which will be cool. Um, now, I think I drained all the will out of the aura, which is not a great thing. Especially because that there. So we're going to eventually want to, to do some better stuff. But do I still have the... Yeah, I should take this. Oh, that's a crystallizer. I don't want that. Where's the... I mean, I could just stick it in the crucible, right? That's a quick and easy way to recharge the will. Cool. So this guy will use far less will to grow now, and he'll grow faster as a result of applying that catalyst. Cool. All right, wrapping up point. Double point signing off. We'll come back next time. Automate the application of that catalyst. Automate this a little bit better. And then we'll go from there. For now, double point signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. I think I can break this down, by the way. So maybe I'll reuse some of these. For now, take it easy.